G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to DCS World with Mags and welcome back aboard the F-14 Tomcat by Heat Blur Simulations. And today we are going to unleash the Bombcat. Yes, it is time to do a bit of a bombing mission. Now, once again, the Rio's position is not currently available to show, although you will be able to do most of this from the Rio's position if you choose to. So first let's go through the setup of the F-14. So first things first, we're going to select Navigation Utility, select Destination Steer Point and Waypoint 2. Switching to steer this point will two. change our Waypoint. Now Waypoint 2 is our bombing target. Alright. Now we're going to start configuring the air-to-ground weapons. So first things first, we need to select Ordnance. Now we're carrying 14 Mark 82 bombs, yep, so we'll sir. select those. And this is what 14 Mark 82s looks like on the F-14. Now I'm going to try and go through the Jester menu options a little bit slower today because it has been requested. So once again, back into air ground weapons. And this time what we want to do is select our ripple quantity. Now I want to release all 14 bombs at once. We have the options 2, 6, 10, 20 and 30. We're okay. going to select 20. This will release all the bombs with one press. Once again, back into air ground weapons. And we're going to set the ripple timer next. Now I want to have the ripple timer set to 200 milliseconds. Okay. And last of all, we're going to go back into air ground weapons, and this time we're going to go to set pairs weapons and select the option. And this will release the bombs two at a time. Now if we quickly jump back into air ground weapons, as you can see, we now have the option to select singles. You can see the option has changed over. And that's it. We are now ready to drop bombs. Now to actually drop the bombs, all we're going to do is hit the master arm and select air ground mode, which is the second button from the bottom. You'll see the HUD pulses here as it's calibrating and then we get our CCIP drop line and that will be the SA-6 surface to air missile defences so let's get ourselves back into air to air mode because we're going to have a couple of aircraft to deal with before we actually get to drop these bombs on target And RWR is looking reasonably clear at this point. Now this particular mission I've got set up, we are bombing four TU-22Ms that are currently taking on stores on a Russian runway. The runway is defended by a number of fixed anti-aircraft emplacements and two SA-6 installations. There's five aircraft in our attack group, two F-18 Hornets are running a seed mission, they'll be going in for the SA-6s as we speak. We have two F-16 Block 52s as escort, and we are the strike package to take out the TU-22s. Now we are getting spiked pretty hard here, but I don't think we're actually at much of a risk at this point. We're a little bit too far out for that. That being said, this airfield isn't just defended by the SA-6 defences. There are three MiG-29s and three MiG-23s that we'll be launching even as we speak, and we are going to have to deal with those first before we can close in on the runway and actually take out our target. So how about we get in there and actually do that? Two targets on RWR. Looks like they are mid 29s. Let's flick our center screen miles. over. There we are. Camera is locked on. Fight. 12 o'clock. MiG 29 is breaking left. And I think it just got taken out. Yeah, smoke trail, it just got taken out. And first harms have hit the targets. Cannot comply. Now no lock. tracking one at the moment. 
Now I'm going to turn the markers on here. For those of you who are unaware, I run the markers because I have a visual disability. I'm going to do a video on it sometime in the very near future. Alright, breaking right. Alright, lock broken. Missile, 12 o'clock. Hot, break left. Missile, 10 o'clock. Break right. God damn it. Nail. Right, let's go Sidewinders. MiG-23. We have a bandit. MiG-29. Box 2. 12 o'clock low. One mile. Oh, splash. Spike. Splash one, MiG-29. The bandit is going down. Spike. One o'clock. Get you over here, shall we? Fox 2. Bandit, MiG 29, 12 o'clock, 2 miles. Spike, 10 o'clock. Spike, 6 o'clock. And that Spike, is a miss, so let's bring ourselves around and go to PLM or pilot lock mode. So put the little cross on the target, press PLM, and providing we're within 2.3 degrees of the cross. We can lock targets up ourselves without Jester or without the Rio. 12 o'clock. The ship missile missed. Missile. 12 o'clock. Hot. Just trying to get a good shot on six here. Hot. Missile. One o'clock. Hot. And as you can see, this is actually one of the really cool parts about the 14. Even with 14 bombs loaded on, she's heavy. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make that. Um, she's heavy, but she can still fight, even carrying the load on. MiG-29, 6 o'clock. Too far out to get a lock. PLM's actually got a fairly short range, and that MiG-29 is coming up on our 6, so let's take it into the vertical. 6 o'clock. Spike, 1 o'clock. And we have a MiG-23. MiG-23, 12 o'clock high. Closing. I take that back, we had a MiG-23. 6 o'clock. Yeah, he is knackered. Uh, MiG-29 is still down there. Looks like he's toying with an F-16. I lost lock. Bandit is going down. But he seems to have broken away. We might be able to get a sneaky shot on him here. One o'clock low. And locked up. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Low. Damn it. I, I had Sidewinder still selected. <laughs> oh, he's knackered anyway. F-16 got him. Yeah, I should have clicked the weapons over. I was still on Sidewinders rather than Sparrows, so I had nothing to fire. That's uh, entirely my stuff up. Yeah, he is rooted. Um, nothing on the RWR. I think that is all the enemy fighters taken out, and we're not getting any more mud spikes, so I would say the Hornets have taken out the SA-60 installation, so let's do what we came here to do. But anyways, the whole point of setting this mission up so there was a little engagement is to show that the Tomcat can actually fight, even when it's got 14 Mark 82s on board. I don't think I need to worry about the Hornets, Jester. So, our targets are on the parking area on the north side of the airfield. They are four TU-22Ms surrounded by ammunition crates that are meant to represent the ordnance that is being loaded on. And, well, actually delivering the bombs, if you've dropped a bomb in any American aircraft, you know pretty much how this works. CCIP line on the targets. You can see the drop indicator is coming up. Release, two, three, four, pull up, and boom, looks like I was maybe a split second late, 
Although we still got the first bird, but I didn't put a bomb directly on it, and I may have pulled up slightly too soon. It looks like we tossed the last couple of bombs. Probably the last four looking at the craters. And as simple as that, mission complete. It actually does occur to me now, looking, I probably should have spent a little less time looking at the HUD then and actually looked down at the VDI. The VDI, well as you can see here, it's looking down at the ocean at the moment, it does show exactly where the bombs are going to land. So you can use the VDI to actually track the targets in completely on its own, rather than the HUD if you choose to, or use a combination of both. But that's really it. Now we go home. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. This video was a relatively short one in comparison to some of the other ones I've done on the Tomcat so far, but I wanted to keep this one fairly simple. A simple bombing mission, very straightforward, demonstration of how it's done, and just to show off that the fact that the cat is fully capable of fighting, even when it is carrying a fairly reasonable bomb load on board, even if not quite as well as under normal circumstances. It's by no means a slouch, even when it's got a load on. Now that being said, what I want to do now is actually open up the floor to you guys. What do you want to see me show off in the Tomcat next? Now, I do have to say, the Rio seat is still off limits. I can't show you the Rio seat until Heat Blur is happy and they have shown off the Rio seat first. Because it's their baby, they develop the damn plane, they are the ones who get to show it off first. I just get to do the encore, I guess. So let me know in the comment section down below what areas you would like to see or what kind of mission you would like to see. Would you like to see a complex multi-stage air combat mission? Would you like to see a more elaborate bombing mission? Would you like me just to do a detailed walkthrough of the pilot section of the cockpit? You tell me in the comments down below. Anyways, ladies and gents, if you would like to follow me on social media, links to my Twitter, my Discord, and my Twitch are in the video description down below. Actually, they'll be in the comments section down below. You'll also find links to my Patreon if you'd like to help support the channel. And as always, remember to click that like button if you did like the video, share and subscribe if you would like to see more, and until next time, fly smart, fly safe, and I'll catch you in the skies.